tattletale. Okay, well, that's Your fine. little bitch ass if, tattletale. You know, this fence? Yeah. This fence is, is what keeps you being able to say what you want to say. Oh, to really? People. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm right here. Okay. I'm right here. Tattletale. Office, Waldron, on our line. And I need an officer to come by here. There's a, an individual here at our entrance gate. It's filming and taking pictures. Is he a white male, black male? He's a white male, probably mid 40s, 50. Shorts, blue jean shorts, a black shirt, and lots of video equipment. Okay. All right, I got a deputy headed out that way. Hey, how's it going? Hi, right, doing good, sir. How are you? Good, good. Hey, my name is Corporal Rahim, base police, Naval Station Airport. Yes, sir. Listen to me. Yes. Why are you being so difficult? I'm not Tell being difficult. Why. I've, I've okay, been very so upfront. Okay, so I ask you. you for the information. I say, can you prove to me who you are? You can't do that. My is that is, that difficult? My name is Jeff. Uh huh. I'm an investigative journalist with Pennac News Services out of Miami, Florida. Yeah. That's where they're based. Yes. I'm the Northeast Florida chapter of it. Okay. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm an investigative journalist gathering mm -hmm. content for a story. I'm, I'm gathering information about what public officials do on public property. Specifically, I'm reporting matters of public interest for an investigative story that I'm working on. Okay. So I've told you who I am. Yes, I'm sir. Jeff. Right. And I'm an investigative journalist. I've told you what I'm doing. Yes. I'm gathering content for a story. Yes. Okay. So I've met my obligations. I have no, no obligation to identify myself to you. Why not? Because there's no law that says I do. So you don't know the law. That's what you're telling me. You don't know the law. You're an investigator. Sir, please, please don't touch my vehicle. I'm not touching your vehicle. You don't, okay. you don't know the law. You're an investigator for our, our newspaper company or whoever you're working for, and you don't know the law. Now, when a police officer approaches you and asks for some notification for the purpose of defending who you are, you don't know the law, so you're supposed to provide Am I being detained? That's not the question, sir. Why are you being so uncooperative? Tell me that. Why I'm not being. So my name is Jeff. I'm an investigative journalist with Pennac So you don't have no identification whatsoever? I'm not answering any further All questions. All right, that's okay. You stand by, because guess what? Am now? I being detained? Yes, now you're being detained. Okay, are you okay. a federal officer? Do you have authority off the, off the base on public property? I, I have authority, and right now, because you are, are not cooperating with me, you're going to stand by until I get the local authorities here to take you to so you're gonna, question you. So you're going to detain me? Yes, I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm being detained right now? Yes. For what reason? Because you're failing to meet my requirements when I'm asking you to do it. So stand by. I'm just getting photographs, not answering my question, sir. Okay, well. I didn't just, I didn't just drive by and see you. Yeah. It's a call for service. Because somebody's called in, reported your videotaping, photographing people leaving the base, what they said. Oh, uh, that's what they, that's what they called in and reported? Yeah. The photographing and videotaping? It's suspicious activity. Is it um, unlawful activity? It may not be unlawful, but it's highly suspicious. Mm -hmm. uh, suspicious enough for me to write a report with all your information in it. Okay. So, you have an ID? I have an ID in my car. In this one? Yeah. Okay. You want to grab it? No. Really? Yeah, I'd rather not ID. So you're refusing to ID yourself? Am I being detained or anything? You're getting ready to be. I mean, am I suspected of criminal activity? Listen. We can do this one or two ways, bro. reason, I'm asking you for your ID. Mm -hmm. But you've already affirmed that I'm not committing any crime. I'm not suspected of any criminal activity. Well, we'll see. Failing to give us your ID is a crime. Um, it's called resisting without uh, violence. No, it's not. That is a state statute, sir. So no, really it's not. Do you want to go to jail on something like that? No, sir, I don't want to go to jail. Okay, well, what, don't I mean... Don't be a smart ass, all right? Today is January 14th, 2020. It is 3.07 p.m. This is the back gate of the Naval Station Mayport. And uh, just yesterday there was breaking news about some Saudi nationals, uh, military members that have been training at Pensacola Naval Air Station, who have been expelled from the uh, United States for various crimes in support of terroristic activities. And a month or so ago there was a Saudi national that committed a mass shooting on Pensacola Naval Air Station out there in Pensacola, Florida. And what's kind of alarming is a lot of people don't realize uh, there's a lot of military bases across the United States with possibly thousands of foreign military members on American soil. 
who could be radicalized just like these guys that they've deported and the guy that shot up at Pensacola Naval Air Station. Uh, and what was more alarming about the breaking news that's come out since the mass shooting at Pensacola Naval Air Station is the fact that these foreign uh, military people who are training on American soil, thousands of them possibly, like I said, can buy firearms while they're here and own firearms. So we have potentially thousands and thousands of American our foreign military members on American soil and in American communities who have access to firearms and that's a pretty uh, troublesome fact to know. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. What's up? I don't answer questions. That's the question, I don't answer questions. What's your name and badge number? I guess I'll call him Tattletail. You're Tattletail, right? No, I'm you're Mr. I you're Mr. See Something, Say Something, Tattletail, little bitch. What's your name and badge number? That's a, that's a good way to interact with people, sir. That's a good way to what? Interact with people. Yeah. You know, with all the, all the problems that we've had. Yeah, like you guys having Saudi nationals on base that, that shoot people and Stuff like that. That's above my pay grade, but yeah. what is my pay grade? Uh -huh. Is if I don't, if I think something is suspicious, right. I, I turn it in, yeah. and that's exactly what I'm going to do. You think freedom of the speech, freedom of the press, is suspicious? That, you're absolutely. Hey, if that okay. that's your right. So you went tattletale to a cop and I got him to come out. I don't have to tattletale. You're a tattletale, man. You're a little tattletale that, is what you are. That's not a tattletale. That's that's you're, being you're proactive, a little tattletale. sir. You're a tattletale. Okay, well, that's fine. You're a little bitch ass if, tattletale. You know this fence? Yeah. This fence is is what keeps you being able to say what you want to say. Oh, to really? People. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm right here. Okay, I'm right here. Tattletale. Well, the, the I appreciate thing, it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, t I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Learn a lesson. This is freedom of the press. Oh, I know that. How many times I got to come out here and do this for you guys to learn a lesson? There's Mr. Uh, Tattletale right there. You see something, say something. Mr. Anti First Amendment, Mr. Anti Constitution, Mr. Anti Freedom of the Press. Right there. That's America's problem right there. That's the problem with America right there. Little bitch ass tattletales like him run and get the police and tattletale on people. 